Hey guys, today we're going to be installing the front bumper shells on the 2014 to 2021 uh, Toyota Tundra. This will be for the new version, so the version we just created. Uh, this version here, so you'll know it's the new version because it has this number three sticker on it, a along with a couple other pieces of tape. If you have this version that doesn't have those things, go ahead and flip on over to the other video and we'll show you how to install this one. So let's go ahead and get started. First, you'll need to remove the trim bolts as depicted in this diagram. Each side will have five bolts, four 10 millimeter bolts, and one 12 millimeter bolt. Use your electric socket wrench to remove these bolts. If you don't have an electric socket wrench, a ratcheting wrench will work as well. If you have parking sensors, now is the time to remove them. We'll walk you through this now. Remove the plastic clip that attaches the fender liner to the inside of the wheel well. Use a trim tool under the edge of the top connector and pop it out. Rotate the fender liner downward toward the inside of the truck. And remove the fender liner completely. To remove the sensor itself, start by pinching the plastic clip and pulling it towards you. Push the sensor through the hole in your bumper and disconnect the sensor completely. Put your sensor in a safe place. We will be reconnecting it later. You will want to perform a dry fit. This will allow you to practice putting on your shells before making it permanent. As part of the dry fit, make sure you can tuck the bumper cover underneath the fender liner and that the holes line up. During your dry fit, take note of any exposed chrome between the center valence and the bumper shells. This is where your blackout tape will come in handy. Next, use isopropyl alcohol to clean the bumper of bugs or any other residue that might be stuck to your bumper. You'll be adding adhesion promoter to all the areas of the bumper where the 3M tape will be touching down. In this video, we used a refillable tube, but you should use the packet or stick of adhesion promoter that you received with your kit. Apply the adhesion promoter to all the areas where the 3M tape will be touching the bumper. Apply the blackout tape from the very top to the very bottom of the chrome nearest to the center valence. This should account for any variation of the location of the black center pad. Peel back the red backing of that 3M tape about an inch and use painter's tape to adhere it to the other side of the bumper shell to access later. If your bumper shells came with protective film, Peel the top of it back about an inch so it doesn't get caught underneath the trim during install. Begin installing the bumper shells, starting with the edge that faces the wheel well. The top edge should slip under the body panel just above the bumper. Continue to tuck the bumper shells under that top body panel as you move toward the center valence. Once the edge of the bumper shell is contacting the center valence, adjust as needed so you no longer see any chrome. Make sure your bumper cover is tucked underneath the fender liner and that the holes are lined up. Once you're satisfied with the look, completely remove the red backing to that 3M tape. Apply pressure to all the areas where 3M tape is touching the bumper to ensure proper adhesion. If you had to remove a parking sensor, now is the time to reconnect it. Once you've reconnected the parking sensor, fit it through the hole again snugly 
and replace the plastic clip. Now reattach your fender liner. Now replace all the bolts and screws that you removed earlier. Repeat the same process on the other side of your truck. Once you're done, peel back all the plastic film and admire your truck. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped you install your new bumper shells or helped you make a decision on whether bumper shells are right for you. You can find these as well as the matching hood bulge and grill surround kit, the rear bumper shells for your Tundra, and many more Chrome Delete accessories at chromestoppers.com. Be sure to use code VIDEO10 at checkout for 10% off your entire order.